And once you have two sides solved, well, in rare cases, this that will actually solve the cube completely. That doesn't happen very often. So right now we're going to solve the cube completely. When you have two sides solved and all that remains are two colors that need to just invert themselves, you turn it so that, this is called the H by the way, because you can see the H on the top. You turn it so that the H kind of looks like an I. And you do this. This, by the way, is the same step from before that I came to when we skipped the other one. I, I skipped over to this step in order to solve it because this is the one that switches adjacent. And that is solving the Rubik's Cube. Now, there's one other... The, the ones that need to invert before were here and here. There's also a case when they're adjacent to each other. I'll show you that one right now. Okay, so when they're adjacent to each other, you do it so that one is here and one is here, and you go like this. Alright. Hope that was helpful. Now you can tell your friends you solved it.